Check, I was listening to I was listening to the sister speak, right? And what I noticed about her, the first thing is how insightful she was, intelligent, etc. Right? Then I noticed how uh, peaceful she is, or seen, you know. So, and it made me realize, like, man. I thought I was in peace, walking in the spirit, but I wasn't. For the most part, I was, but when certain situations called for me to be patient, compassionate, I really wasn't. I was impulsive, verbally impulsive, you know. Anyway, before I was distracted a little bit, now I could talk about many things talk about the chemtrails in the sky if you see it the chemtrail going right right above the park you know but I was noticing like man my video my the videos I put up is always negative and to be one who professed to have the Holy Spirit it's like almost every video I was negative. I wasn't telling nobody about the love of God. How God is a loving God. I'm talking about, oh yeah, I was so focused on the enemy that I wasn't focused on myself, my foundation. To a point, I allowed myself to become homeless. You know, I've allowed myself to become homeless because my focus was always on the enemy and not myself. You know, and, um, you know, it becomes a situation where now I know, you know. And I was listening to her, you know, I hate to be so far between the words and sentences and like it's just dragging on, but. It came to me yesterday, and I just decided to make a video now. So it's nothing like it's been rehearsed. I'm always going uh, freestyle, I guess, off the spirit and off of, not off emotions. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because when I'm type of situations <laughs> um, I think I've. Um, almost completely, complete, almost completely came to a point where I've come to the point of being humble. So now it's time for me to bear that fruit of being humble, of being patient, of being compassionate, empathetic, sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? And it's so tricky that so many different situations or movements that you can have, you can get tricked out of that by focusing on the distraction and not focusing on what you got going on, you know. And then and when it seems like it's somebody else's fault, it's nobody else's fault but ours. In this case, mine. I already know it's mine because, you know, in my mind, I made up my mind to say, F that, F that, F that. I made my mind up to say that. And then when I was... And at the same time, the Holy Spirit is just guiding me alone. So as I go out and speak, I can talk about the goodness of God and how he kept me through all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So talk about how good God is. You know, um, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to witness and know that grace, you know, gives us a place, the salvation in heaven. He said, I go and prepare a place for you and to be under grace and not under law. To be under law is to be judged by the law. To be under the calling means there is, there's, he said, gifts and callings are without repentance. You know, so there's no being judged for sins. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ came to save people. And that he did, as well as, you know, healing people, um, H-E-A-L, healing people, um, 
and in many other miracles he performed, right? So when he said, I, I, when I leave, my father is going to send the comforter, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. God said he's going to pour his spirit out over all the land. He's looking for somebody to give the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? He scoured through looking to, to see who he's going to get the Holy Spirit to. So that's why I guess maybe that's why he said, when you got it, you got it. There is no taking it back. Because <laughs> he wished that nobody perish. You know? So, it's not like you can do anything to get salvation. You know what I'm saying? But, you can't be a believer and have all your sins washed away. Because that's what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to die for our sins. And upon dying for our sins, when it comes up to being at the great white throne of heaven, you get judged, it'll be white clean, given that you're that you keep up with repentance, you keep up with repentance, you know, like you say, you keep up with bare light by repenting, you keep repenting for your sins or whatever, that's how you keep bearing fruit, otherwise, you wax exceedingly cold, like you said in the, in the end of times, in the latter days, uh, people, the heart of many will wax cold. The great apostasy, the great apostasy being where many people will fall away from the faith. I'm talking about like that hard Christians are going to fall away from the faith because they like their ears being tickled by seducing spirits. Seducing spirits in the sense of um, uh, uh, like a pimp. A female leaves out of the house, you know, maybe know nothing about the street, see it on the street. A little fascinated by, by it, but then when you get to it, it's like, whoa, now the pimp is in your ear. Manipulate. And, and that's all it is, is manipulation, manipulation the tricks, you know. So once that card is played and it gets the person that's a diehard Christian pulling down, all these women wearing leggings, basically underwear, making a person go into a temptation beyond... You know, because the spirit keeps you away from being able to have to, to sin like that. You know what I'm saying? But a person making the decision and say, you know what? Forget it. I want it. The flesh is weak. So that's like turning your back on the Holy Spirit. And it's like, I think that's like grieving the Holy Spirit. But a person that don't have the Holy Spirit, that's saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, all they got to do is repent for their sins. They turn away from the faith. You know? So basically what I'm saying is, videos they got to be more uh, motivating encouraging you know what I'm saying because every video it, it, I mean you can probably even hear it in the videos in my voice I'm tired of making these same videos like they're not doing anything they've never done anything from the first video like three years ago when I first started recording three four years ago and it's been happening longer than that it's been happening since I was born. You know what I'm saying? You know when you've gone to the next level because people that you no longer in communication with, they can't come close to you. God took them out of your life. You know what I'm saying? And they may very well know it. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be those people that's looking to tear you down that God takes away from you. You know, and the more and more you take steps towards righteousness, God will add things to your life. You know, she say, seek me in the kingdom of heaven, and all things will be added to you. You know, seek God's righteousness. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs>